Good evening. <clears throat> this is a code enforcement hearing for the city of North Miami. Today is May 2nd, 2018, and I am Beatrice Kessel, Special Magistrate for the city of North Miami. The purpose of this hearing is to determine if a code violation exists at your property as observed and cited by a code enforcement officer of the city. If the city is not able to prove its case, then I will dismiss the case and you may leave. These proceedings are being recorded, therefore all persons who are speaking should do so one at a time to ensure that all testimony is clearly audible on the recording device. If English is not your primary language, then please inform me when I call your case. We have a translator who will assist you during the proceeding. When your case is called, the property owner, agent for the property owner, and any witnesses that you may have should come forward to the podium on the left side of the room. When asked, please speak directly into the microphone and say aloud your name, your business or mailing address, and your relationship to the property. If you are not the property owner or an attorney representing the property owner, then you must present a notarized power of attorney affidavit in order for your testimony to be taken on behalf of the property owner. For new cases, you will be asked for, for the record if you are aware of and understand the violation that is being heard today. And do you understand what is required to resolve the violation? Please answer accordingly. When the city will present its case first and then the property owner and or violator will be given an opportunity to be heard, to to testify on their own behalf, to bring forward witnesses to testify, to present evidence and photographs, and to cross-examine the city's witnesses. Following the case presentation, I will issue a finding of fact on the case. If I find that a violation of city codes exists or existed on your property, then depending on the case type, I will set an abatement date for the violation to be resolved. Or for repeat violations, I will impose a daily fine amount. For non, non-repeat cases, my order will include an abatement date by which you must resolve the violation and a daily fine amount that I may impose at a future hearing date should the violation not be resolved by the abatement date. If I find sufficient cause to postpone enforcement action at this time, I will table this case proceeding to another hearing date in the future. If you do not agree with my finding of fact and or ruling, then the property owner may appeal the administrative order on the case to the circuit court. An appeal must be filed within 30 days of the date of the execution of the administrative order to be appealed. In accordance with Florida statutes, if a person decides to appeal any decision made by the special magistrate with respect to any matter considered at these proceedings, then the person will need a verbatim record of the proceeding. This record includes the testimony and evidence upon which the appeal is to be based. The cost of obtaining the, ver the verbatim record shall be the sole responsibility of the appellant. And it is recommended that persons who plan to appeal their case should provide their own court reporter at this proceeding. Pursuant to city codes, if the city of North Miami prevails in prosecuting a case before the special magistrate, the city shall be entitled to recover all costs incurred in prosecuting the case. The current cost assessment amount is $100 per case. Once the city records an order that imposes a fine and authorizes a lien against the property, then the city will charge additional administrative fees to record and release the lien. If you are present and will be given testimony on a if you are present and will be given testimony on a case, please rise and raise your right hand so the officer could administ administer the oath. <clears throat> One second, one second. Ma'am, does she have a disability? Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give in this proceeding will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and so say aloud, I do? I do. I want them to remain standing? Rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Accurate and correct to the best of your knowledge, 
skill and ability. Please announce for the record if there are any additions, deletions, and or additions to the um, hearing agenda. Good evening. The deletions are as followed. Item number two and three, CEGMP 2018-0097, Ambrosino Corp. complied. Item number four, CEODS 2018-0032, Andrina Brassier complied. Item number five, CEGMP 2018-00101, and Barnett postponed. Item number six and seven, CELDR 2015-0015, and CENUS 2018-0012, Antoine Duador complied. Item number eight, CEGMP 2018-0003, Antoinette Severs postponed. Item number nine, CELDR 2017-0043, Basile Ellis complied. Item number 11, CEGMP 2017-0091, Cardinal Gutfire postponed. Item number 12, CESSP 2018-0009, Shanika Allison complied. Item number 14, CEGMP 2017-0093, Claude Bastine postponed. Item number um, 15, CESTR 2018-0004, Danielle Garcia complied. Item number 16, CEGMP 2017-0088, Deborah Jones postponed. Item number 18, C CEOSV 2018-0029, Eddie Elvier complied. Item number 19, CEIVY 2018-0060, Edric Brown complied. Item number 20, CEPFY 2018-0105, Elliot Saunders complied. Item number 21, CEMIS 2018-0002, Elliot Eugene complied. Item number 22, CERCV 2018-0044, Ermenes Lewis, postponed. Item number 23, CEIVY 2018-0045, Evelyn Wright, complied. Item number 25, CESTR 2017-0004, Galinsky, Postponed. Item number 26, CERCV 2018-0045, Garciela Morente. Postponed. Item number 28, CERCV 2018-0007, Guillermo Frias. Postponed. Item number 29, CEGMP 2018-0076, Grindolin Boyd. Postponed. Item number 30, CEDVC 2018-0001, Hans Jean Baptiste, postponed. Item number 31, CEJNK 2018-0050, Harry Boyd, off calendar. Item number 32, CEIVY 2018-0011, Hebert Joseph, postponed. Item number 36, CEEXP 2018-0010. Well, item number 36, 37, and 38. And CEPFY 2018-0052. And CESSP 2018-0040. Jackson Toussaint complied. Item number 39, CEGMS 2018-0008. Jacqueline Sparks complied. Item number 40 and 41, CEIVY 2018-0064, and CEPFY 2018-0065, Jason James complied. Item number 42, CEFAW 2018-0030, Jamil Shoot postponed. Item number 44, CEBPR 2017-0105, Heminian postponed. Item number 49, 
C E S S P two zero one eight zero zero seven eight Juan Calderon complied. Item number fifty one C E G M P two zero one seven zero zero eight seven Laura Moray postponed. Item number fifty three C E P F Y two zero one eight zero 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 eight three Lisam Ao complied. And item number 55 and 56, CEGMP 2018-00011, and CEGMP 2018-0012, Macedon Rainier, postponed. Item number 57, CEBNP 2018-0006, Magda Calixi, postponed. And item number 58, CEGMP 2018-00071, Zero seven one, Margaret Cloud complied. Item number fifty nine, CEBPR two zero one seven zero zero one six three, Marie Woods complied. Item number sixty four, CESSP two zero one eight zero zero one nine, Marjorie Joseph complied. Item number 66, CEPFY 2018-0086, Mercedes Augusto, complied. Item number 67, CEPFY 2018-00112, Michelle DeJames, off calendar. Item number 68, CELDR 2018-0003, Midland Trust Company, New owner complied. Item number 69, CERCV 2018-00043, Miguel Guerrero, postponed. Item number 70, CEGMP 2018-0095, Morema Torres, off calendar. Item number 72, CEPFY 2018-0003, Zero 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 three zero, Ni Lima Muscar, complied. Item number seventy four, C E I V Y two zero one eight zero zero four eight, Ofanis Dolamir, complied. Item number seventy six, C E O S V two zero one eight zero zero one nine, period. Doriska, complied. And item number 77, CEEXP2018004, Philip Norrodin, complied. Item number 78, CEEXP2018003, Pierre Alcius, complied. Item number 81, CEFAW2018004, Sharonda Williams, postponed. And item number 82, CEGMP 2018-0002, Sharonda Williams, postponed. Item number 83, CESSP 2018-0025, Silver One Investment LLC, off calendar. Item number 84, CESSP 2018-007, Tarquinos Yanes, complied. Item number 85, CEOSV 2018-0011, Tenor Dole, postponed. Item number 86, 87, and 88, 89, and 90, CEGMP 2018-007, CEGMP 2018-008, CEIVY 2018-0035, CEJNK 2018-0009, and CEOSV 2018-0013, Tracy McKnight, postponed. Item number 93, CEPFY 2018-0063, Willie was moved to 10 a.m. hearing. And item number 94, CEIVY 2018-0071, Wilsner Paul, Complied and then item item number ninety five CEJNK two zero one eight zero zero two Woodson La Rochelle postponed.
And to begin with, our first case will be item number one, Officer Edmund Fitzell, but he's not here. Uh, customer Afzal Khan, case number CESA, CESEA 20170003. And Officer Ernst Baptiste will be representing that case. Good evening, sir. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. Uh, Henry Albello, agent for the owner. Ernst Baptiste, City North Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was opened by Edmund Fitzel on December on December 12, 2017. Case was opened for a seawall that is not maintained. Um, receive this case. Um, it's like I said by Ed Fizzo, there's no picture to show the seawall. Is that all the city has? Yes, violation that was open. Mount property was posted. Um, Do you have any personal knowledge of this case? No. Nope. All right. Um, if I may. Uh, we're in the middle of processing for permitting of the new seawall. We're already at Durham. Uh, Durham, on the other hand, is taking a little longer than expected since after the hurricane, it took them, I think, about three months to start taking regular applications again. So, But we are in the middle of correcting it, even though if the city doesn't have any paperwork for it. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate your honesty. Um, all right. How, many, how long do you need? Um... I wouldn't say more than 60 days, max. All right, 60 days. Thank All you, right. sir. Thank you. That's better than what I was going to do. Item number 13, Officer Rahima Golden, customer Charlu Meng case number CEODS 2018. 00018. Right here. That's the case you have for? What item number is this? 13? Good evening, sir. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. Good evening. My name is Patrick Mignon. I'm okay. a resident of the property. Okay. City of North Miami, Officer Rahima Golding, um, code compliance. This property was cited um, originally in February uh, 26, 2018, for outdoor storage violation. Um, they had uh, a large amount of indoor items that were stored underneath the, um, the carport. Um, after speaking with um, this gentleman here, um, there was a misunderstanding as to what exactly was needed. So when I went to the property yesterday, it had not been done to, um, to satisfaction. So he did ask for an additional 30 days to get the rest to the, the remainder of the items that are underneath the carport removed. Okay. So is, are you requesting a, that we table it for 30 days? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, sir. 30 days. 
Get okay. it done so you don't have to come back here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Item number 24, Officer Edmund Fitzell. I believe Shanna will be hearing that case. Um, customer George Dottler. Case number CEBCM -E -E 2018003. Good evening, sir. Mm -hmm. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. George Dotzler, 12785 Hickory Road. I am the owner. Thank you. Wayne Clark City, North Miami Code Compliance. Um, I uh, took this case for Officer Fitzell on last month as well. And uh, obviously we have proper service. Uh, the property was posted on April 20th, 2018 for this hearing on tonight. Um, And uh, I think uh, what happened was um, he wanted to bring it back, and he did show. You're familiar with this case? You remember this case? Mm -hmm. And he uh, wanted to uh, he uh, produce the um, architectural drawing of the rear of his property, correct? No. You didn't no, produce like this ar architectural drawing here? Was this yours? Yeah, that's mine. But okay. That's, the that's record. from two meetings ago. Oh, well. Anyway, he showed it last month, um, I guess showing uh, where the positions of the pylons are. I'd like to show it to him first and then uh, resubmit it for the record for you to uh, get a closer look. Um, the boat on the, uh, the smaller boat is more by uh, two gray pylons up in this photo, in this print. And uh, the, the larger boat is more to, if you remember, the uh, the wood dock itself. And I think it was a PVC pylon, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he also has it more to the um, to the south side of the house also, uh, depicting um, pylons uh, by the gray circles. The, uh, the drawing doesn't show uh, the connections to the pylons or to the pilings. Those are, those are moorings. Mm -hmm. Anyway, finish. And it was to determine, I think you were uh, trying to determine whether the uh, PVC pylon was adequate enough um, by code to moor the boat to, to, to rope the boat off to uh, those pylons. So That's I have the photos again of the pictures. To, from my recollection, and I'll allow Mr. Dottler to... Um, to testify, I think that this case came up a couple of times now, and it's always been that there is a disagreement between what the city is staying in terms of the mooring and the piling, and you know, that's different from what Mr. Dottler is saying. He's indicating that he's in compliance and he has produced photographs as mm -hmm. well as drawings. Mm -hmm. And, um, I believe he was saying that from the angle where you guys were photo taking pictures of the of the boat, mm -hmm. you were not able to see um, everything from your angle. And he had produced photographs from where, um, I guess he produced to the city. And I said at the time that I wanted you, since you're covering for Mr. Fitzell, to have an opportunity to go back and basically view it from, from a different angle um, because he's indicating that he's in compliance. If the city's only looking at his property from one angle, there's a possibility that you're missing something. So he had produced his photographs as well as the drawings and um, I wanted, I had, um, I think I tabled this case twice to give you guys an opportunity to look 
into it and to look into his argument and be able to come back and advise me and inform me as to the what city's position on this. Well, uh, first off, you know, like I said, I'm, you know, was representing, um, I got the, <clears throat> the back end of the case um, to take over from Edmund Fitzel. So I'm just going by what the code says. I don't know what was the discrepancy in reference to why it had to be going back and forth as much as it did, but I'm going to read the description. I don't know if you already took a look at it um, prior. Um, it says, in all residential districts where boats are permitted to be moored in canals or waterways, all boats shall be moored to mooring piles, docks, boat lifts, boat davits, hoist, or similar mooring structures. From what I see in the picture, that covers the mooring of the boat with the dock. The docks, that's a wood dock. That's a pylon. To me, it's a no-brainer. So it's up to you, the uh, final word. But I will sum resubmit the photos again to recollect your <coughs> memory and viewing of this thing here. I don't know what those pictures are. I'm not really showing much. This is a, a real good picture of it. Uh, it doesn't specifically say what it has to be made out of. I don't see anything where the description says it has to be made out of PV, uh, concrete or solid wood or, you know what I mean, or iron. Um, there is pylons there. I'd like to submit the photo for the record. So if there is, why are we here? Because we have two boats. Oh, okay. One boat. The, the large one boat is in is, compliance is, and one is not. That's what it seems like because one of them is moored correctly to the dock. The bigger boat, the smaller boat is 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 moored to the land. Okay. Not a, it, because you remember he doesn't have a seawall anymore, do you? I think the seawall seawall collapsed. I think the, I think it, what happened was it was a seawall issue. It was moored to the seawall instead of. The officer read in the uh, the requirement. It says nothing about seawall. Mm -hmm. Not a single word where it says seawall. Let's do it again. Where is it again? It doesn't say seawall. All residential districts where boats are permitted to be moored in canals or waterways, all boats shall be moored to mooring piles, docks, boat lifts, boat davits, hoist, or similar mooring structures. Yeah, but this is this is not a. Uh this is not a pylon. It's, I don't know what you got it moored to it, on the it's land. It's fine. I, I, I have photographs that show both boats moored to pilings. Okay. Um, show it to the officer, and then you can send it up. Okay, let me just go through. This is a concrete piling at the south corner of the property. And it's, it goes up. It connects to I, the, I don't think he's making a record of it. So, sir, start over. Okay. Um, first, a, the first photo shows a concrete piling that's located the south corner of my property, so. right near the property line. Okay. Okay. Got that picture. With a two-inch um, uh, wo woven web cable, it's attaching the bow of the larger craft, the motorboat. Okay. Then we have uh, the central piling to which... Um, the floating dock is is connected, and lines from the the boat are the larger boat are also connected to the floating dock through the pylon. Okay, the the fourth picture is the northern pylon, and we have three lines coming off of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those 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 lines are what going to the sailboat or the big boat? I'll tell you. Okay, that's going to the bow of the sailboat. That's going to the aft of the sailboat, mm -hmm. and that's going to the aft of the larger craft. Okay. Now this is the line, that, that piling's right here, and that's the front of the sailboat. This is the back of the, of the, uh, the boat, and the, the, line, the piling's over here, mm -hmm. and that cable is coming to the back corner of, of the sailboat. So the fore and aft of the sailboat are both connected to those pilings. In addition, in the diagrams previous, previously provided. Which you mean this? Yes. These are mooring structures. 
and, and there's multiple mooring structures in addition to the pilings that are securing the boats. So I, I think I've made a prima facie case that, oh, I, I that we've... In the picture. All I've seen was a broken pylon that was like a kind of... The, in, in previous testimony, these have been acknowledged. These have all been acknowledged in previous testimony by Mr. Fitz... 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 Fitz I, I don't think there is there is any contention as to how the boats are secured to these moorings on the land. And there's more moorings in the water. And there's these three pylons in addition, which are which I added additional cables to the ones I previously provided. Now even if I had just one piling and both boats tied to that one piling. I would have complied by your requirements. In addition, you've thrown out the definition of a mooring, saying it doesn't comply with your definition, which has to be attached to a seawall. There's nothing in the ruling or, or in the code that says seawall. It doesn't say mm -hmm. seawall. Mm -hmm. And the definition of a mooring is very well stated in Chapman's. And I read it to you at the time, two months previously. I do, have I do have moorings, I have pilings, the boats are secured. No, I don't have a seawall, I need to fix the seawall, and that's what this is about. The city has mm -hmm. tried to bring pressure against me in order to get the seawall. I want a seawall. Now please, let us put this nonsense behind us, let me move forward on the seawall, instead of wasting energy on this. Let me ask you a question, do you think those pylons are <clears throat> the ones with the sailboat are uh, more to the front, the ones that are coming out, the concrete pylons, are those pylons in the original state or is that a damaged pylon? Because that's kind of, you know, barely submerging out of the water. The, the pylons are old. The, the pilings mm -hmm. are old and they've deteriorated down to the low water mark. And, and they were a problem because they're there below the water and at high tide, you can run into them. Mm. So the sleeves are there in order to make their presence apparent well above the high water. Mm -hmm. So when you come up to, the, up to the area, you're not gouging the boat over these pylons that are just below the water. So, and they're very substantial. I mean, I see. The, 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 um, the big PVC tube that's put over it doesn't make it any less of a pylon. Right. I mean, it's the same as if you put a condom over a penis. You still have a penis. Oh just, boy, what kind of... Okay, we're not gonna make... The, <laughs> let me ask you some, um, All right. are you saying that it's concrete inside that no, PVC? No, they're wood pilings. Those two are wood pilings, mm -hmm. and the third is a concrete piling. Okay. Well, your call, Special Magistrate, there's pilings here. There's boats tied to the pilings. You got a, a wood piling with the larger boat is tied to that is fixed to the dock. And then you have another one, which is the original concrete pylons uh, that I, I guess was there when the seawall was there. I don't know, but. Um, well, he's not here about seawalls, and that we keep going back to the seawall. But based on you, what you're indicating, it sounds to me that the man is in compliance, and for that reason, and we are going to dismiss the case. Whose drawings are these? Is this for the city? I guess your copy. All right. This is. Uh, I think it's your copy. Yeah, this yeah. is this is your copy. There I, are, I, I have a letter from the same to Mr. Fitz. Fitz there you go. Okay. Okay. It, it's all different. One is dated 3-5. Is is Mr. Fitzell Continuing unavailable, I'd like to speak to him about he the seawall. Oh. As of yesterday, he's technically Okay, then um, who will be handling uh, Keystone? Would that be you? Uh, that's to be determined at a later date. We haven't decided. 
decided on that yet, but I'm quite sure that you'll meet your new officer. Uh, for you to, I don't know, I get uh, probably. Uh, can you gentlemen discuss office. this in the back, please, <laughs> so we can call the next case? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Item number 10, Officer Ernst Baptiste, customer Bernardo Augustin. Case number CEZPU 20170050. Is anyone here? Good evening. Please state your full name in relationship to the property. Bernard Augustine. All right. Property 30 Northeast 132nd Street. Thank you. Ernst Baptiste, City North Miami. Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was heard before, but it was tabled to show. Um, more descriptive picture of the violation. Um, I went back to the record and I want to present um, a um, civil violation ticket that was issued for the same violation and it was paid. This ticket was issued because um, rooms were um, separated from the main house and with no access to the rest of the property and people were living in it. This is a picture of, of the civil violation ticket. David Cato's 20, 20, 2014. It was the same violation. And the violation still exists right now. Because when you have addition to your property, you need to have access from one room to the other. All right, the photograph that's showing me a yeah, sealed door, a door, I guess a um, frame where a door is supposed to be yes. is sealed completely yes. closed yes. off. And this was from, okay, this was from 2014. Okay, let's see. And then we have 2017. Let's see a doorway. Okay, so all these doorways leads to where? Because I see, I don't there's know. There's no access. There's, up. there's no. So access. this is a room yes. that you can only access from from the back of the property. From the back of the property. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's it's um, closed off from the rest of the house. Correct. Okay. There's no direct access from this room to the to rest the, of the house. No. And obviously, somebody lived here because yes. I see there's beds and fridge. a fridge and yes. um, um, bathroom, etc. And a kitchen. Yes. Okay. All right. Is it Mr. Augustine? Do you understand yes. the violation, sir? Yes. I have a, from that 2014. We um, we did a hearing here, and 
we end up getting permits and have um, permit action report going back 2014 to that we had a past um, inspection. Inspection. Okay. Hmm? It's a past violation. The door, the door inside the house, I think it's never been moved, never moved, never displaced. The only thing we do in the house, there was a garage, and uh, we put a, uh, we closed it up, you know, from the inside. But the, the, the exit from the garage was always on the outside. A neighbor called to the city, and the city came and, and told me that I, I, I needed to legalize, to legalize that. I took a permit. I pulled the permit. I had the, 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 blue, I had the blueprint. And I removed the garage door and I uh, normalized every, everything. I closed it up and I put, I installed a toilet inside it. It was back in 2014. Yeah. 2014. 2016. 2016. I'm still coming, going to the back and forth to the city. Everything that was asked, required of me, I, I did. Okay, so if I understand, ma'am, listen, I, I'll let you finish in a second. J I just want to understand something. Are you saying that this was, you converted your garage into a, a room, an efficiency? Yes, yes, it's not an efficiency, it's a room. But it includes, it's, it has a, a, a bathroom. And it seems yes. like there's a little kitchen area. There's a sink. The sink here, this, this is not. It was, it was back in 2014. No, this is a 2017 photograph. Let me show it to you. You tell me whether or not. Show it to you. So the sink, the bathroom. Is this is this a, is this a sink? Is this it a looks sink? like a kitchen sink because there is a microwave next to it. We don't have this any any more any long anymore. Used to be, but not anymore. Yeah. All inspectors that came. Okay. Do you have any photographs of the of the of the room? No. I have. I don't have photo. We don't have photo right now. So you know you're coming back to to court to for the same case, and you don't bring your own photographs to to counter what the city is showing me. I didn't know I had to take pictures. I went to the city. All right. Does she did she pull a permit to convert the garage? The um the position of the city is not Don't about. Don't tell me the position of the city. She's saying that she pulled permit you, back in 2014 you, after this ticket violation to convert the garage into. It, I it, don't know how that's possible. You can cover, convert your garage into a room, but you cannot turn it into an efficiency. It, can, it has to stay part of the main house. You have to have access from that room, from that garage that you converted. It has to stay um, where people can have access to the main house. Understood. But did she, if, if she's saying that she passed inspection, whether or not that's true or not, but did you have an opportunity to review the city's records to be able to tell me that yes there was a permit pulled 
Yes, she passed inspection. No, she never called for them to return to, to do an inspection of the property. These are the things that I need to know to be able to know whether or not, you know, when, you're not telling me the, the, the truth or, you know, the city's not. When you have an addition, right, and you have a door that the inspector will come and then do the, the inspection. Now, if you go back after the inspector and you seal that place and there is no access anymore, and that's when I came because there was a dispute among the tenant mm -hmm. that was living there. And I took picture, and then there is no access from the rest of, of those rooms to the main house. We are not disputing that she doesn't have a permit for the job. We are saying that she closed off wall to make an efficiency that is separate from the main of the of the uh, prop, the main um, um, house. Can I have these photographs back, ma'am? Are you telling me that this is not your property? Are you telling me the sink? The the um. Yeah, it's, it's from the okay. It was a Spanish inspection. Yes. Spanish inspector came, and I did everything that was after I, I left the court, I went to this, the next day I went to the city and I uh, requested the final inspection paper. Oh. And back in February, everything was done, completed, the inspector came and checked everything. They gave me the final document. Mm -hmm. I have to, I, I hear you, ma'am, but you know what? You're not telling me the, the whole truth, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I can see the officer in the room taking photographs on the same day at the same time. The photographs are in order, 858, 859, and he's in the frame. So you're telling me that this, is, this photograph was taken back in 2014, and now I'm seeing this officer in the frame. I find in favor of the city, I find that the violation does exist. Enter an adjudication. You have 30 days to remedy the situation. If not, you're going to incur a daily fine amount of $150. 30 days. I don't like when people come here and don't tell me the truth. Item number 35, Officer Ernst Baptiste, customer it za. Case number CEGMS 2018-0003. Good evening, sir. Please state your full name in relationship to the property. It's Fadia. Uh, it's my building, 777 Northeast 125th Street. Thank you, sir. Ernst Baptist City of Miami Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was open for um, the awnings in front of the property that um, is missing the top. The cover of the awning is completely gone. Property was posted on the 18th uh, of April 2018. And today I took picture um, the awning is in the same condition. But this is the one that you sent me. And that's not my store. That's not my building. <laughs> then you went and took another picture, but you didn't notify me what the problem is. That's not my store. 
he took a picture straight from here. My store is there. All right, I'm That's a little why confused. I didn't know what you were talking about. Okay, give me a second. Here's the Let picture. Me I was, I give me one second, sir. I'll give you an opportunity. I'll give you an opportunity. Okay, what's going on here? The awnings right in front is missing the top part. It's ripped. Okay. And he need to replace the, the top of the awning. All right. Sir, go ahead. I'm sorry. I thought it was a mistake and not my property. I didn't know what you was talking about because that's the picture they sent me in the mail. Okay. Pass it forward. Let's see. And the violation I got got nothing to do with uh, the top missing or anything. Just clean it up. Let me see. says repair remove torn awnings before re-inspection which you said you no I didn't as I said I didn't think it was my store even does your store has a torn awning I have no idea I can check it and I've if that's so I'll fix it <laughs> on your way here it sounds like this is right across the street on your way here you didn't peek over sideways As to I see said, whether or not your store had a, had a I, I torn think, awning i thought he made a mistake and sent me to a, a picture that's across the street here All i'll right. fix it that's not a problem i'll table it i'll give you 30 days give you an opportunity to, to remedy I appreciate it. it all right Which thank one you is his? okay this is his all right <laughs> item number 43 officer shannon sanders customer jeffrey daniels um, case number C O D S two zero one eight zero zero one two. What'd you say? Forty three? Mm hmm You guys are killing me today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Really? Oh man. <laughs> huh? Good evening, sir. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. Sure, Jeff Daniel, property owner. All right. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer. This is a new case for um, outdoor storage that he has um, in the rear and on the sides of the property. This violation was first opened um, February 14th, sent out the notice of violation on that same day, sent out the final letter um, a month later on March 14th. Um, spoke to the property owner last week. Um, he stated that the items would be removed. Some of the items have been removed. Most of it, I have to say, has been removed. Um, but I'll let the property owner explain what's going on with the property. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I have a tenant at the back that is, uh, they just like to collect junk. And then they're in the process of being evicted. And uh, over the course of the last week and in fact, today I've gone ahead and removed some of the items. So I just really need the weekend or so to remove the remaining uh, appliances. And I am okay with that. I did drive by the property today about roughly 4 o'clock, 4.30, and I did see that most of the items have been removed, so I'm more than willing to give him the time frame that's needed. All right, let's table it for 30 days. Okay. Give you time, and when it's done, contact the officer so that she can take it off calendar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Item number 45, Officer Ernst Baptiste, customer Jonathan Jimenez, case number CEGMP 2018-00096. Good evening, sir. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. Um, Israel Del Valle, homeowner. 
Ernst Baptist sitting of Miami Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was open for um, the exterior of the property that is um, the paint is peeling and it need to be painted over. Posted the property on April 19, 2018. Took pictures on the 1st of, April, of May. All right, sir, this is your property, mm -hmm. and you know what the violation is? Yes, ma'am. All right, how long do you need to uh, paint? About a month. All right, 30 days? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll give you 30 days. Okay. All right, sir. After the 30 days, I need to come back? Let him know. He'll come, and um, if it's done up to code, then he'll take it off calendar. Okay. And close it. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 46 and 47, oh, okay. Officer Wayne Clark, Clark customer Jose Himnosa, case number CESOD 2018002 and CEZPU 2018006. Okay. Good evening, sir. Please state your full name and relationship to the property. Diga su nombre completo y su estado, doctor. José Luis Hinojosa. José Luis, ¿y la propiedad de usted? 1141 Norris 130 Street. 1141 Northeast 130th Street. Thank you. Which one are we taking first? Uh, Let's go with number 46. Uh, SOD. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have, you say number 46, but I don't have the uh, agenda. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. S E S O D. Okay. C E. I, mean <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Wayne Clark, City of North Miami Code Compliance. The property was uh, posted with good notice on April 18th, 2018, for this hearing tonight. Um, unfortunately, no sod has been planted. Um, he hasn't contacted me since the last hearing. I have no idea if he even visited the uh, community planning department no as of yet, acá. so there's no compliance. Así que no and I was out there Estaba on today at approximately 324. I like to submit the photo for the record yes. or the most recent picture. Okay. It looks like. We're having this kind of night today. <laughs> I roll with the punches. <laughs> so that was so today. So this looked like your house, right? It uh, at least looked like your house? Luce como su casa, verdad? Sí, parece. It looks like. Good. It looks It looks better because I fixed it. It seems like it's an older picture. I see. Would but you like the, uh, you, will it surprise you to know that it was taken today? Para su sorpresa, hoy día fue tomada. Sí, pero también fue muy temprano. But maybe it was very early. <laughs> Not that early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whew. All right. So, no change. Uh, maybe you want to ask him if he uh, visited the... Uh, no hay ningún cambio, dice él. Did he visit the city community department for the alternative landscape? Y si fue a ver a la comunidad, aquí a la ciudad para hacer eh, el trabajo en alguna otra forma en el, en el terreno ese? No, yo no fui a la ciudad, yo lo hice yo. I did not go to the city, I did it myself. What well, exactly did you do yourself? Ex exactamente, ¿qué hizo usted? Yo organizar un poco el, el patio. I organized a little bit the patio. Puse las piedras que había, una loma de piedra, las puse en, en las matas. I had the stones and I placed it by by the plants. I made some sort some sort of a pathway to the entrance. 
I removed all the garbage, but not the leaves. You know, bottles that are thrown out by, by drunk people. Cans of, of soda, soda cans in the patio. There are leaves in the patio, but not garbage. Okay, but that has nothing to do what with What patio case. are we talking about? I want to know what patio, because all I see is a little front porch in There's the front. There's a patio? Did what we have the right about? house? Uh, Maybe like that's why he said. It said. might be <laughs> Look, his house. It might be his right, house. Right. Do you have a patio? Usted tiene un patio. Sí, yo tengo un patio. I do have a patio. Okay. Let me see about these La única diferencia con relación a las demás casas. The only difference uh, comparing to the other houses is that my house is, you know, farther back and the patio is in the front instead of being in the back. The other houses have a small patio in the front and uh, a larger patio in the back. Una diferencia también con los demás es que hay muchos árboles. Another difference with the rest is that I have many trees. Pero yo detesto Parquear el carro en un lugar de sol. But I dislike parking my car in the sun. Quiero parquearlo donde haya árboles. I like to park it where there are trees. Um, I don't think that we're, are we telling him he cannot park? No. That's not the violation. Well, no. No. Now I'm, I'm starting no. to believe that he, no. I don't know if you're doing this on purpose or if you really, really, really don't get what's going on here. Bueno, no this is your no, third. No, nada, nada que ver con el parqueo. El parqueo está bien. Oh, uh, okay. bueno, do you remember the grass? Parking this is, is okay. our third meeting here. Es la is it the third time? Es la this is our third time, right? I lost count. It is. I don't want to come here. I would like to bring you a cake or something else, but... I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I can use Ooh, some no. cake. <laughs> <laughs> the energy, right? <laughs> I'm brought here for this. I understand, but we really have to deal with your case here. The issue is not your patio, even though I cannot see a patio here in this photograph. Dirt. The issue is your driveway. There ain't no driveway. Huh? There's no driveway. I know, but he is supposed to designate the area for a driveway. Well, the, the, the thing <laughs> is, he's supposed to plant sod. That's the thing. He's supposed to plant sod. I say, minus, you need to designate an area where you're going to park your car and make your driveway area. Everything else has to be sodded. Right. Nothing but sodded. I understand. I was just explaining to him because... I, I hear a lot about, you know, um, the patio and, and the leaves, et cetera. So I'm trying to make sure that he understands what the violation is and what he needs to do. And this is exactly the same thing that we told you like two meetings ago. And we even referred you, right, to the city and the department that would help you to try to, um, because we know that you talked about Para que le ayuden, ¿no? um, how you love to plant uh, um, the habitat garden, like yeah, that exactly, and that's the reason why we referred you to the city. Okay, okay, yo pensé otra cosa. Yo pensé que querían de todas maneras que yo sembrara flores y que sembrara mata y que sembrara. Well, then I misunderstood because I thought that uh, you wanted me to plant flowers, you wanted me to plant plants or other. But other you didn't things. even you plant know? flowers and pl and. Where's the plants and flowers? Pero ni siquiera plantó flores ni plantas. This photograph was no, taken no, at 2.24 p.m. And I don't see any no. additional plants from what was there before. I don't see flowers from what we had before. All I see is... I don't want flowers. I don't. Well, I'm not telling you what to plant. You're the one who told me that you planted flowers. Mi mamá, mi mamá, cuando murió... My mother, when she died, she said she did not want flowers in her at, at her burial. Strange. Uh, I don't want flowers. I want flowers to 
to uh, sprout when it's yes, the time. Yes, you said two meetings ago that you wanted a habitat, habitat garden. garden. We remember that. You said you like nature. That's <laughs> true. You said you wanted to plant this and that. We said, okay. You, we referred you to the city. What is it? Redevelopment? What city, city planning department. City planning department. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Tell him yes. Ya I understood. No había I did not understand. I'm going to help you understand. Yo voy a a I am no, going to adjudicate no, your case. No, 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 I'm no, going I understand. To, huh? I, un I understand I now. Yo voy a ir, yo voy entiendo, ya. I will go. I will, I'm going to enter an adjudication. Bueno, you know what that means? Bueno, voy a entrar una adjudicación. Like, ¿Sabe lo que significa adjudicar? I'm going to make a decision against you voy today. A hacer una en contra, in contra favor de of the city. Día, en favor de la ciudad. Because this is our third Porque time es here aquí. discussing the yo same, para, exact same issue. Si I would like you to give me another chance because mm. I'm uh, going through uh, some situations, some crisis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 60 days, but I will enter an adjudication. Bueno, In the a, 60 days that I'm... 60 days, but I'm going to give you an adjudication. The 60 days 60 that I'm giving you, I want you to talk to the officer and get the information again for the city <laughs> community planning department. Community planning department. I ain't got no problem with you. Oh, hold on, hold on, back up now. Back on now. Go on back over there. Start. No I am going to. You need to. Comply. Usted tiene que cumplir. You need to go ah, talk to these comunicación. people and tell them this is what you want to do, which is the habitat garden, and see whether or not it will be in, um, in compliance with the city's code. If you are able to do that, then they can walk you through sure. it and see okay, how it okay. can be done. But something has to give. You got to do something. If usted not, if you come back here si in two months, en dos meses, Mr. He know, he know what? He know Hosa. He know Hosa. If you come back here in two months and we're still having the same discussion, you're going to be paying $50 per day. Each day that you're not in compliance, that's the lowest I can go. $50. I promise in two months when I come, when I, I'll come back, everything will be You have solved. such a beautiful property, but you have to keep it up. Huh? You'll see a beautiful house. Well, you know, just give him that option now. You, you, you got options too now. You can either go with the sod, which is telling the sod is grass. You plant, plant some grass. Or either the uh, the uh, habitat garden. Or si no, el jardín que usted dice, el jardín mm. natural. I feel like I'm. All right, do something with that. Do it's a beautiful property, but something Una has to be linda, done. Pero tiene que so I'm giving you two days, huh? August. August. What is it? June, July. Yeah, August will come back. Yes, come back tiene August first. Agosto oh. primero. Huh? Okay. Okay. Both cases. Did we even hear the other case? Well, not Same yet. Thing? Go ahead. Wayne Clark, City of North Miami Code Compliance. The property was serviced uh, with a notice to appear on April 18, 2018, uh, with proper notification. Uh, this um, violation was for, remember, he had tenants stand there in a single family home, and the member of the house had caught a fire, and the house was deemed unsafe. Uh, I was over there today, and I absolute, absolutely did talk to both tenants, and they are still there. Uh, the one in the rear with the uh, where the fire caught on to the um, area where she's renting. She has fixed it herself because he refused to fix it for one thing. And for another thing, they ain't supposed to be there. And they're still there. So he's in violation of that because he can't, he can't chop up a house and rent it out. Sorry. I don't know I'm giving that to you. And they say that he doesn't care. And um, and um, you know they're they're you know they're kind of like saddened by the situation, 
Uh, and then also, um, let me uh, uh, kind of uh, recollect your memory to where that he had tried to do an eviction with the county and they denied the eviction because of such conditions of the property. And I think you should go ahead and rule on it and find a guilty finding and find him a day on that because that's ridiculous how those people are living over there. I have already entered an adjudication. We already have an adjudication. All right, that's even better. So let's run the two cases together. I even got the tenant in the picture. I even I might have another picture with it. Where's the? Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Show him the photos. So what's going on with the um, eviction? ¿Qué está sucediendo con el desalojo de esos inquilinos? Mire, no tengo dinero para contratar un abogado. I don't have money to hire a lawyer. La señora, porque él está preso. He is in jail. Uno, the lawyer in jail? Está preso. The one that I rented to, he is in jail. Ella hace un año que está ahí, no. él la trajo y la metió ahí. She has been in the house for one year. He Yo brought her. No tengo nada que ver. I have nothing to do with her. Pero la policía no la puede sacar. But the police cannot kick her out. Ya me tiene cansado porque dos veces ha llamado a la policía que yo le quito la corriente. I am tired. Cuando she ha called, llegado la she, policía she, no hay quitado corriente ninguna. She called two times, two times because I uh, cut the electricity. And when yeah, the police she did came, tell me that. that, 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 that the electricity. Todo se lo pago, vive ahí. I pay electricity, I pay everything. Si no she, lives there, she doesn't want to leave. Tengo que aplicarle un abogado, pero el abogado me cuesta dinero. I have to hire an attorney, but that costs money. She don't want to leave because he don't want to give her back her money. And the other people living in my property, they are Eso family members. Él, give no one second, cierto. allow the interpreter to, to translate. But, but he's saying that it's not the truth. What I'm saying is not the truth. Look, and I was there today talking to both of the tenants, special the magistrate. No they are still there. Uh, there's only this lady, the problem. The other people are family members. Yo tenía un americano. I had an American person. Y se, él se fue. He left. Queda la mujer. The el wife is. Está preso y fue que le renté. Those and people are not the, 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 the wife is in street. the house, and I rented the house to the husband, and he's in jail. Que hace año y pico que no me pagaba. He, y ella, la señora, lleva un año sin pagar nada. And she did not pay me for one year, and this lady, he, she's not paying for one year already. Yo no soy violento, ni quiero violentar nada. I am not pero, a violent person, and I don't want to pero, pero, become one. ¿Qué hago? But what, no. what can I do? Should I kill her so she could leave? Oh, I, I don't want to hear any of that oh. in here. Um, absolutely oh. not, sir. Tengo yeah. que you know that's wrong. Ya fui al abogado. I went to see an attorney. Le hizo caso a ellos. Mintieron bajo juramento porque well, dijeron que they, me pagaban. They uh, believed her. They lied under oath. Cosa que es mentira. They said that they were paying me, which is not the truth. I understand. Yo que voy con la verdad. Yo que voy con la verdad. I'm going with the truth. Sir. El juez no me cree a mí. The judge did not believe me. Okay. Le well, creo I, a ellos. They, the judge believed them. Okay, I don't know the situation, I don't know the circumstances, if a judge, um, you know, heard the witnesses and heard your testimony and, and um, ruled against you and in their favor, then there's nothing we can do here for you. Um, the best thing for you to do now is to, to hire an attorney. Um, I promise I'm going I'm I promise to, I'm going to hire, I'm going to hire an attorney and even if I will go hungry or not being able to buy me shoes. I promise right. you, and so I'm, I'm going to. I would ahead. like for you to give a daily fine right now on this case because there is a fine right. set. There's a fine set at 150. It's, it's the, he's not I mean, telling you the truth. He's there's not, a fine. I'm, there's. I'm, uh, it's already been adjudicated. It's it's a fine here at 160. I'm giving him 60 days this so the two cases can run together when he comes back. Casos. If si he does not have a lawyer on si the no case, that's caso. basically either going to file for an eviction. Entonces, then I will. Yes, sir. What did, what did, at which point you are going to start paying. This is $150 per day. De that per adds up very quickly. It will get more expensive for you than que if you were to. Si yo no soluciono el problema, me voy de la casa y se la regalo a la ciudad. Well, I promise to you, if I don't uh, 
do this with the house. I'm going to leave the house. I'm going to leave the house to the yeah. city. Se la regalo usted uh, y a usted y a I'll, I'll give it to you and to him and to everybody. All right. Bueno, OK, you. good night. Gracias. Do I still pay? Hmm? 60 days.